Hello guys, this is Grumpy Gamer. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on all the different industrial calf cables and uh, Greg, Greg Tech cables. Now I'm not going to cover every last single one. The only reason I'm not is because a lot of these cables you'll never ever ever use them. So I'm only going to cover the ones that you're ever going to use. And so I don't want to waste your time covering like gold cable and stuff like that. Gold cables used for crafting, you know, you'll never use it out in the real world. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, each wire has, uh, each type of cable has two characteristics and this determines uh, when and when, when and where you want to use each type. The first characteristic is the voltage. So this right here is copper cable. It can handle packet sizes of 32E per tick. That's the voltage. It's low voltage. Anything above 32 EU per tick, uh, the wire will melt. And the next number is it says four blocks. So that's how many blocks. Um, that's how many blocks long you can make the wire before you see a power loss. So if I was to make this cable four blocks long, let's say for example the sign is a generator which puts out packet size of 10 EU per tick, and let's say I was to place down uh, electric furnace. Let's say that's an electric furnace. Now since this wire is only four blocks long, I get no power loss. So since we're generating 10 EU per tick, this thing can receive up to 10 EU per tick. But now if I was to come over here and do this number right here, make it one block longer and put a copper cable there, since it's five blocks long, I would have a loss of one EU. So instead of 10 EU, this thing would only be able to receive a maximum of nine EU. So next we'll get on to the ultra low current cable, 5 EU per tick, that's the voltage it can handle, and it goes 40 blocks long. That may seem like a weird combination. Uh, what this is for is for uh, solar farms and water mills, stuff like that. Water mills, you got to make a ton of them to get your power, and so you need really long runs of wire. So you might have 20 or 30 or 50 water mills, and so you need a wire with a really low power loss, because if we were to put water mills all along this wire, we could put one like say here, 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 and here. Anything longer than that we have a power loss. Now since the solar panel only puts out one EU per tick, any loss whatsoever, uh, you get no power out of the system whatsoever. So that's when you'd use this ultra low current cable. So um, next we'll go into the, uh, oh first of all let me cover this 32 EU per tick. now. There's only two items that will put out 32 EU per tick as far as I know. It's the bat box and the uh, low voltage transformer. And so if you, this is what you'd hook up coming out of that. Not necessarily you could use better quality wire, but in early game you'll use copper cable. Uh, this right here, like I said, that's for the solar power and stuff like that. The basic ones, but if you have advanced solar panels which put out 8 EU per tick, you can't use this wire. At that point, uh, you have to use this copper cable, or here's my favorite. This is your bread and butter. This is what you'll use 95% of the time in the game. It's glass fiber cable. It's expensive. It takes diamonds to make it. But by the time you uh, need this stuff, you, diamonds aren't really an issue anymore. You, by this point, you'll probably have a lot of diamonds. These two right here are only used early on in the game, like the first few days, before you have any diamonds and that kind of stuff. But once you get some diamonds, you get a little excess diamonds, you'll want to use this glass fiber cable. Now it has the same length or same loss as uh, the ultra low current cable, which is 40 blocks, but this thing can handle up to 512 EU per tick. So basically this thing, you'll use this for all the other solar panels. Use the tin for the basic, but anything else you can get away with this stuff right here. So that includes your advanced solar panels, your ultimate hybrid solar panels, and your hybrid solar panels, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I like to overclock my machines, and I run all my machines at high voltage. So this is the cable. If you ever see me on any of my other tutorials or my Let's Play, this is what the cable you'll see me using. Next we have 4x HV cable. Now there's also uh, an insulated and a two times version. You'll never build those. Um, Reason being is uh, they have a higher power loss, first of all, but secondly, um, you can get electrocuted and die instantly. Like let's say if this was uninsulated and this thing's carrying 2,000 volts, you step on it, you're dead. So you'll only use the 4X version of this and basically you're going to use this to get power from a nuclear reactor to your house or something like that. So 
at that point resources uh, aren't a big issue so the rubber you're not worried about but anyway this thing can handle up to extreme volts is 2048 EU per tick and it has a, it can go 1.25 blocks without a loss so I uh, can't do the math on that I don't know how but I'm not gonna lie but basically what it boils down to is more or less is you're gonna have a lot of loss with this stuff and um, it's not very useful other than uh, long transmission lines so if you ever decide to use this stuff for long distances you you want to make sure you got extreme voltages going through it because even though it has a high power loss that's that's a little deceptive because let's say I make this stuff 20 blocks long I'm gonna be losing 20 EU per tick but the thing is I've got 2048 EU per tick to play with so if I lose 20 EU I've actually only lost 1% of my power so that's not a very big deal but basically what you would do is a nuclear reactor you'd have this long line coming and way down here you'd put an HV transformer because all your machines uh, you'd probably run them off HV power or something like that so um, that little bit of power loss probably isn't that big of a deal unless you're going like a thousand blocks or something ridiculous like that but finally we have the best wire in the game other than the fact that it's huge and it's expensive it's pretty recent wire now this stuff right here is called superconductor wire it's it's added by the Greg's Tech mod so if you're playing with Greg's Tech to say, uh, disabled you'll never see this wire in the recipe book but basically it can handle any voltage with no loss so it can be to 10,000 blocks long and you'll have the same amount of power coming out as you had going in and it'll handle any voltage this has very limited use uh, well you could use it anywhere but when I say it has very limited use I mean about probably about the only time you'll ever use it is like on a fusion reactor um, because it's super expensive it takes a radium more to make this stuff so you're not going to hook your macerator up with this stuff that would just be overkill and a waste of resources and plus two it's kind of ugly in the house it look kind of cool like in a big factory you know uh, coming off a fusion reactor but that's about it but anyway um, that's your basic wires there's other wires that didn't cover like uninsulated HV cable and gold cable you'll never use that stuff I've never used it this is the only wires I've ever used in the game and actually I've never used these two down here I still don't have a fusion reactor it's very uh, labor intensive to, to build one of those it takes a lot of resources so I've never had to use this HV cable I've never had to use that because the only thing you'll use this for is probably nuclear reactors and I've never messed with nuclear power. I don't see the reason to build anything that has the chance of exploding. I like the HV cable. Uh, I like the solar panels. You build the solar panel and you never have to mess with it again. It's it's build and forget. So the biggest solar panel puts out 512 EU per tick, and that's this glass cable. So honestly, for me personally, I've only used these three types of wire right here. This is the only thing I use in the entire game for building uh, power grids. But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you enjoyed it, you found it informative, please give it a like. It helps my channel, but also too, it lets me to make more lets me know to make more videos of this type. So anyway, it's Grumpy. Uh, y'all have a great day.